In the U.S., there's about six different approved clinical indications for of CAR T cells for cancer, but they're all blood cancer. And about 90% of cancer is so-called solid cancer, and that's the big question. Can that work? You know, can it work in the common tumors like brain cancer, uh, breast cancer, prostate cancer? And the, and the answer is, in animals, it works. So uh, what we have now is the challenge of combining uh, therapies to, you know, it's much more difficult in solid cancers than in the blood cancers. Solid cancers tend to make a barrier in comparison to a castle, a castle with a moat, where the moat would prevent the invaders from getting into where the castle is. Many of the solid cancers have a moat around it, which prevents our T cells from getting in to the cancer. And so there's a number of strategies. We have one that's actually in progress, a trial that just began. We're giving an oncolytic virus made here in Barcelona um, with, by Ramon Alemani and, and his collaborators. And we give that. That's a virus that infects the cancer. Our first patient's been treated. She has ovarian cancer. So we give the virus first to break down the moat. And then we give the CAR T cells and they have a better chance of getting into the cancer. So that's one way we think we can uh, make these cell therapies work for the solid cancers is combining other modalities like oncolytic viruses and CAR T cells.